what is the narrowest part of ureter very standard question it is the visico ureteric junction where the ureter is mixing with the bladder that is a place where renal coli is very very common doctor campylobacter sclerosis medium they are all like uh, entry visas if you answer this wrong means you didn't prepare for exam well very very standard question inflammatory versus degenerative arthritis how do you differentiate morning stiffness is an important feature which is a differentiator between the two Waldenstorm's macroglobulinemia and uh, multiple myeloma, Poem syndrome, standard topics in general medicine. So it is not IgE secreting clone. It is not IgE secreting clone, but hyperviscosity, hepatosplenomegaly, lymphadenopathy. They are all the features of the Waldenstorm's macroglobulinemia. Lepromatous patients, if you treat for long time. then uh, on which side bacilli will be found leprosy is a favorite topic you read everything about leprosy we know that but this is a luck factor based question what was your guess chakrabert in the actual exam ear lobe you thought no yeah lot of our online classmates also uh, thought it as uh, ear lobe even sara everybody Are uh, following the same rule like Chakrabert. Even Asha thought it as ear lobe, dorsum of fingers. So, what is another important carry home message? You understood. Even if you read, you will answer wrong. Even if you don't read, you can still be able to answer. But you need to read. Why? Because two thirds of questions come. to check whether you read or not to the exam cardiac lupus may what is the most common manifestation give me what is the wrong answer chakrabert what was your answer lipman sacks may be because that is the only thing that we know question number 79 ha huh? so it is a talent based question doctor this is the place where you should be in a position to guess pericarditis as an answer your score improve this is the sixth talent based question basically balina answered it as lipman sacks anita answered it as lipman sacks i know main stay of primary dysmenorrhea standard question nsaids is what we basically use Tracheal esophageal anomaly, another routine question, doctor. Esophagus ending like a blind pouch, and uh, there is a fistula of the distal esophagus with a trachea. Ha! Renal biopsy, कब करोगे? अगर किसी बच्चे को nephrotic syndrome हो गया. This is a talent-based question. talent based question number 7 out of 35 talent based questions basically doctor patients who can be given a steroid and tried before doing kidney biopsy what are the indications i leave the literature to you if they have a normal complement if they have a negative ana if they have negative viral screen if there is no family history no macroscopic hematuria normal kidney function age is between 1 to 8 Every small kid with nephrotic syndrome, you don't trouble him with biopsy. You'll try to give steroid and look for remission. But if the age is more than one year or older than eight years, I mean younger than one year or older than eight years, if recurrent gross hematuria, systemic disease, positive viral serology, low C3 C4, positive ANA, yes. giving steroid is not the solution you must clinch what is the diagnosis you need to do renal biopsy okay doc tennis elbow is because of what doctor common extensor origin 
Veteran of Japanese Encephalitis is Culex Vishnuai. No big deal. The millet which is rich in calcium, nutrition in preventive medicine, very common question, required daily elevenses, etc, etc. So it is the ragi. If you are, Anita should answer it correctly. She is from Karnul. So, Krishna Devaraya's dynasty, she belongs to. Very good. Anita didn't disappoint us by answering Ragi. If you go to a wedding in Rayalaseema, things made with Ragi are the part of the game. Now, posterior stephaloma, degenerative myopia, pathological myopia may, there is a natural weakness in the partial aspect of the sclera. So, posterior stephaloma. Pulmonary vasoconstriction, another very standard question. We use for pulmonary hypertension endothelium receptor antagonists because endothelium receptor is involved in causing pulmonary vasoconstriction. Undescended testis, when will you repair? Classically between one and a half to two years is what need to be remembered. Aortic nipple on chest radiography. Abhi uh, agaya, talent based question. Basically, are you able to see a breast and a nipple in the aorta? It is called aortic nipple sign. You are able to see aortic nipple. Typically, why does this happen? If the superior intercostal vein on the left side, that leaves an impression of a nipple on the aorta, aortic shadow, is called aortic nipple. If you are talented, you will answer it correctly. Now, doctor, iron deficiency may what is increased? Favorite question of the examiner. If you go to general medicine, top 20 topics may you have iron deficiency, macrocytic anemia, megaloblastic anemia. How do you differentiate iron deficiency from thalassemia, from anemia of chronic disease? All these funda you have to iron out. So, doctor, transferrin. Typically, increased transferrin is a feature of iron deficiency. Decreased transferrin is a feature of iron abundance, is what need to be remembered. Demetrocycline is used for the management of SIADH. Without a question on diabetes insipidus or SIADH, there is no general medicine. Be very sure. Demiclocycline. Which non tuberculous mycobacteria produces toxin? Do you think you can answer this question? Oh, uh, if you answered means maybe you have done nothing but only reading in your microbiology days. Microbiology, second year, third year is the most spoiled sport in the medical college. That is the time you will have a one or a couple of crushes. Then uh, remaking romantic escapades. Where is the time? One and a half year time you will get suddenly after anatomy means uh, there are too many beautiful things in the world to do. Huh? So, that time mycobacterium ulcerans was crying that I produce toxin. Where do we remember? Luck based question purely let me tell you. Luck based question. Now, tumor progression ke matlab kya hai te? Sequential appearance of features of increasing malignancy is basically called tumor progression. Oh, doctor. What do you like to call this? Which category question? Talent, luck or uh, predictable? One more luck based question, question number 17. You will be crying in exam hall. So many times I got common cold. When it is called the chronic, when it is called acute. Once it is more than 12 weeks, you call it as chronic rhinosinusitis. Don't worry if you answered it wrong. It is the same misery on this side and that side also. HLA B27, ankylosing spondylitis, simple question. Type 1A glycogen storage disorder, may, what do you have? Every time in our mock test, we discuss one glycogen storage disorder, definitely. Talent based question. Hyperuricemia, all of you will guess. Hypoglycemia also you will guess. Metabolic alkalosis, you will 
आंसर इट इजीली बाय एलिमिनेशन बट वेल आंसरिंग मेटाबॉलिक कैलकुलेशन आपके दिल में देयर इज सम अमाउंट ऑफ फियर इन द पोस्टीरियर मीडियास्टिनल पार्ट ऑफ द हार्ट व्हाई नॉट हाइपरलिपिडीमिया व्हाई हाइपरलिपिडीमिया बेसिकली हाइपरग्लाइसीमिया कॉजेस लो इंसुलिन हाइपरग्लाइसीमिया स्टिमुलेट्स इंसुलिन हाइपरग्लाइसीमिया इनहिबिट्स इंसुलिन इफ इंसुलिन इज नॉट देयर डायबिटिक्स में क्या होता है ट्राइग्लिसरिडीमिया होता है ना सेम थिंग विल हैपन इन द पीपल हु आर हैविंग टाइप 1 ग्लाइकोजन स्टोरेज डिसऑर्डर आल्सो दैट इज द रीजन फॉर हाइपरलिपिडीमिया स्केलेटल मसल रिलैक्सेंट्स व्हिच आर मेटाबॉलाइज्ड बाय प्लाज्मा कोलिनेस्ट्रेस lot of stall words were clean bold by this question why the only fact we know very confidently is atracurium half men degradation atracurium half men degradation half men degradation matlab liver or kidney kisi ka zarurat nahi hai elimination ke liye there is no enzyme involved in its degradation but atracurium is a special drug there are two pathways for atracurium One is non-enzymatic Hoffman's degradation. Other is through acetylcholine esters. Bad luck for all the people who answer that curia. So answer become dark curia. Dark curia nobody will have idea. To know atra curia, miva curia, sajinylcholine, big deal. Dark curia if you know means only by elimination you should answer. Anita, Sara. Everyone answered it as atracurium. Atracurium. Huh? Now, doctor, there are two pathways. One is Hoffman's elimination, where Lord and assign the toxic product of atracurium is produced. Other is ester hydrolysis is also involved in atracurium. Now, what is the absolute contraindication for Pertussis vaccine? This is a known question for everybody. it is not the static neurological disorder but a progressive neurological disorder cerebral palsy is a contraindication or you can give safely cerebral palsy is a static neurological disorder so it is not a contraindication epilepsy it can be progressive so it is a contraindication that's what you need to know so what is considered not considered be a high risk group all of them are looking like high risk group What was your answer? Check with it. You answered D, eh? Good. That's a reasonable guess. So talent is required. We know check with it has the talent. T nine is what you need to remember. Clients of female sex workers, men having sex with men, and drug users. They are all the classical high risk group. First cell to migrate is undoubtedly the neutrophil. Whenever there is any process of wound healing. कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड गैस का थेरापेटिक यूजेस क्या होगा इफ समबडी हैज गॉट रेस्पिरेटरी अल्कलोसिस एंड हाइपर वेंटिलेटिंग यू यू डोंट पुट ए सीओ टू सिलेंडर फॉर हिम टू इनहेल यू विल पुट ए क्लोज्ड बैक वेंटिलेशन सो दैट ही विल री इनहेल द सेम सीओ टू व्हिच ही इज एक्सहेलिंग बट वी यूज इट टू फ्लड द सर्जिकल फील्ड ड्यूरिंग कार्डियक सर्जरी सो दैट इट विल इंप्रूव द सेगमेंटल वॉल मोशन So that's the idea. Anterior fontanelle at 18 months, pediatrics ka very standard question. Then allergic rhinitis ke liye what is the most useful test? Serum IgE, very common, expected. 120 questions ka. Am Aadmi question. You should answer it correctly. Mosquito vectors. All of them are transmitted, but not babesiosis, which is transmitted by tick, is what need to be remembered. If you go to preventive medicine, you will have heart ticks, soft ticks, what are transmitted? A uh, table data, khatarna table, bhayanak table that you need to master. Huh? One question will come on mosquitoes, vectors, entomology. That uh, this requires talent. Zymogen activation. By partial proteolysis is an example of what was your answer? Colon modification. You answered a very good. So 
the enzymatic activity can be either increased or decreased by covalent modification. Zymogen activation is by partial proteolysis is an example of covalent activation and this is a reversible reaction. Protein phosphorylation is an example of a covalent modification. Then ADP ribosylation is another example of a covalent modification. So how are the enzymes activated, deactivated? There is a big story in biochemistry textbook. So what is the method of choice for termination at different stages of pregnancy? Abortion, MTP. Abortion, how important topic Dr. Gynops ka list deko vita? Gynops me abortion top 10 topics me jarur aata hai. First will be cervical cancer, ovarian cancer, contraception, like that if you keep coming down before honeymoon is over in gynops. First 25 topics agar padhe to bhi you will uh, laurel. 11th high yield topic in the topic list given to you. Huh? So be very sure doctor. Suction evacuation. Schizophrenia. Without that there is no paper. Psychiatry may how high yield topic it is? Probably second or third in the psychiatry. Negative symptoms, positive symptoms, types of schizophrenia, good prognosis, bad prognosis. Everything on schizophrenia. Treatment. First, if you don't get time, only read ten, top 10 topics. What are the top 10 topics in psychiatry? Quickly, Bolavita. So, phobias, delusional disorders, ECT, electroconvulsive therapy, schizophrenia, depression, the top 10 list in the list given to you. Eh? Please don't uh, forget. Only 10 per ke jau. So, doctor, positive symptoms means delusion, disorganized thought of speech, gustatory hallucinations. They are all the manifestations of psychosis and highly responsive to treatment. Negative symptoms means deficits in the normal emotional responses. So, poverty of speech, inability to experience pleasure, lack of desire to form relation, they are all the negative symptoms. Sugar cane test, dust is bagassosis, cotton is bisinosis. Oh, very routine question. Which is the most sensitive test for the diagnosis of malaria? I will tell you what is the most famous wrong answer. The, uh, what is your answer, Chakrita? See, no? Ah, I thought. Because antigen detection is very, very uh, seductive option among the options given. Don't fall into that seduction, doctor. Quantitative Buffy code test is the most sensitive. Lot of our online classmates. Anita thought it as pan plasmodial LDH. Very unexpected. Sara thought it as thin peripheral blood smear because she is sincerely following the primary health center protocols on malaria detection. Eh? So, QBC, the quantitative Buffy coat is the most sensitive diet. Sometimes, next state interest straight, he question at the so there is the importance of uh, question banks are shared between all uh, universities. So last week we had Maharashtra paper discussion and we hosted it online. Please uh, take a chance to review that. Now doctor, total electrical alternance in the ECG, electrical alternance and cardiac tamponade. Cardiac tamponade constrict to pericarditis and uh, uh, Restrictive cardiomyopathy. Differences between the three. A Khadarnak table data, Harrison May. You have to master that. Definitely one question will come. Ha, this is our most favorite question. 15 year old girl with epistaxis. Girl hotehi hemophilia gone into dustbin. She has both APDD and also bleeding time and clotting time. See, prolonged bleeding time is a function of platelets. Also, prolonged APDD means clot, one of the clotting times. 
both starting time leading time are planned only in von willy brands because von willy brand factor is important for stabilizing factor 8 agar 8 is disturbed everybody prolongs von willy brand factor is important for platelets to adhere to the subendothelium agar o nahi hai to platelets also also dysfunctional because platelets are dysfunctional bleeding time is prolonged factor 8 is disturbed clotting time is prolonged what of them being prolonged that to being in a girl you will think of von willy brands Classical question. Under revised National Tuberculosis Program, how do you treat? Once more, doctor. RNTCP, NHRM, Janani Suraksha Yojana. Let me once more remind you holding a uh, big mic. You have to review and go. You must be sure on all protocols. I should be it. Epididymal function. See, doctor, recently West Bengal state entrance was over. There a question was asked on what is the definition of capacitation? That is sperm maturing in epididymis. Then recent Maharashtra state entrance, point, what is the function of epididymis was asked. Once more, what is the marker of epididymal function? All entrance question banks are epididymis oriented. So be sure. So, doctor, it is carnitine, carnitine, uh, which is, uh, once more, let me tell you, it is a pure talent based question. I know, fructose is your answer. Eh? Chakravir, what was your answer? Huh? Testo. Testosterone and epidemial function, nothing to do with each other. Fructose, if you answered, I will reasonably agree with you. Huh? So, Sara answered fructose. I know, I know. Famous wrong answer. Creatinine. Car, sorry, carnitine is what you need to remember. So, what is the Murphy's law? I mean, what is the common sense law? Without a question on antiretroviral drugs, exam nahi hoga. So, what is your answer, doctor? Basically, enfuvertide is a fusion inhibitor and prevents entry. Then atravitrin, which is being given. What is it? It is a non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor. Emtricitabine is an example of nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor. For the HIV infection is what need to be remembered. So what is the relation between KM value and affinity? Higher the KM, lower the affinity, lower the KM, higher the affinity. Why lower the KM, higher the affinity you call? KM means that Substrate concentration at which half the binding up happened. At lower substrate concentration only, if that half binding occur, unless there is a high affinity, it doesn't occur now. So, lower the KM, higher the affinity, higher the KM, lower the affinity, that is called inverse relation, not proportional. Simple question. Competitive, non competitive antagonists, KM, standard issues, enzyme kinetics in biochemistry. A child whose BMI is 84th percentile, what you call it as? 84th means you should suspect. Once more, doctor, this is a talent based question. Unless you have sincerely gone to reading room and prepared yourself mentally, underweight means less than 5 5th percentile, healthy weight is 5th to 85th, overweight is 85th but less than 95th, Obese is called greater than 95th. Examiner asked 84th, hence it is a normal weight. Okay. Standard question. But talent based. That means you have really rumbled yourself through that uh, jargon of tables and ready for exam. So what is the criteria for early gastric cancer? Standard question on gastric cancer. Depth of invasion. Polypoid, elevated, flat, depressed, excavated. Based on that, you basically classify. Dilutional disorder is uh, which number, doctor? Ninth high yield topic in our topic list. Dilutions. So, what is meant by Kepler syndrome? Believes that their family member is replaced by an imposter. Richard Dawkins and Emma Watson look similar. 
as such you have put a little hair on him of course world has billions of population everybody has one nose two eyes and one mouth and two ears how many variations god can create even if he wants so there will lot of similar looking people but uh, living differently huh? so then due to criminal abortion of clostridial septicemia what is the color what do you call it as pure luck it will be bronze colored magnetic bronze skin discoloration with bulla filled with foul smelling cirrosanguineous fluid instead of bronze what is the famous wrong answer what did you think doctor you thought it as bluish black no yeah i thought that will be the ultimately you don't need to read some questions you read also you can't answer many times you might have read clostridial septicemia gas gangrene blah 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 but never given importance to the magnet of bronze color but all that if you answer that 120 out of 180 correctly i will agree about this earliest antibody marker expected predictable question hepatitis b ke bina question nahi hota so anti hbc igm is the earliest antibody to appear when the plasma glucose falls to low levels different hormones help combat hypoglycemia but in spite of giving intravenous large dose insulin the return from hypoglycemia to normal glucose levels become delayed in good situation you know genong textbook of physiology 21st chapter may behind it they will give some mcqs fourth mcq this is straight pick from the genong mcq review but you need to know the concept that our glucose levels are maintained by water water responsible for maintaining our glucose levels both steroids and also you are having glucagon only when combined deficiency of both of them are there such a thing will basically happen straight pick of genong mcqs which is not a derivative of neural crest so as i told neural crest derivative is a standard expected arm army question as to sites now during childbirth there is severe hemorrhage she han syndrome so which is not expected in this patient you don't expect cachexia but because your gonadotropins are not there infertility the low low basal metabolic rate there are all the important uh, expected features how will you demonstrate cryptococci in the tissue section talent based question that time your mind should come eucerimine stained cryptococci could slide in the pathology textbook which you studied then you will uh, answer it correctly talent based question eucerimine staining for the yeast form of the cryptococcus ha ah, doctor what is the murphy's law in pathology pathology mein highest number of questions kis mein aate bete jara dekho highest number of questions pathology book open karte hi seedha aap wahan wahi jana entrance ke liye prepare ho rahe ho to what is the highest topic list mein glomerulonephritis without the question on glomerulonephritis अगर एग्जामिनर पेपर सेट किए तो मुझे पूछो सो डॉक्टर इफ यू रीड एफ एस जी एस द पैथोलॉजिकल फीचर्स वेर आर द मोस्ट प्रोमिनेंट इन द जेक्सका मेड्यूलरी ग्लॉमर लाइन नॉट इन द कार्टेक्स दट्स अ पॉइंट एग्जामिनर वॉन्ट टू क्लींच ऑन यू ग्रेटर इज द लिपिड सॉलिबिलिटी इन ऑलिव ऑयल ग्रेटर इज द एनेस्थेटिक पोटेंसी वॉट इज दिस लॉ कॉल्ड luck based mayer overton's rule he in fact has plotted olive oil gas partition coefficient and the potency of the anesthetic drug he has plotted that's called mayer overton's correlation of the potency of the anesthetic agents mbbs level ka wala question nahi hai ha now It is not an example of serotonin, noradrenaline reuptake inhibitor. I told you, no doctor. Antipsychotics me, ham bahot weak spot hai hamara preparation ka. Kyunki uska istemal bhi nahi karte. 
फार्मोकोलॉजी डेस्ट में भी नहीं पढ़ते एटलीस्ट क्लासिफिकेशन पढ़ के जाना बेलनाफैक्सिन क्या है फ्लूक्सिटिन क्या है सो एस एन आर एस 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 आर एस एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा मे बी एलिमिनेशन यू माइट हैव आंसर सट्रलिन फ्लूक्सिटिन सट्रलिन देर ऑल प्योर एस एस आर एस देर इज बेलनाफैक्सिन बिलोक्सिटिन देन मिलनासिप्रम देर ऑल कंसिडर टू बी एस एन Arise is what need to be remembered. What is the Cohen study? Even the LKG baby answers. Framingham heart study. Now comes our favorite issue. Surgery में topmost topic क्या है देखो बेटा? Highest number of questions. Surgery textbook open करते ही when your honeymoon is fresh with surgery. Huh? Breast carcinoma. Second highest. थाइरॉइड कार्सिनोमा थर्ड हाइएस्ट प्रोस्टेट कार्सिनोमा फोर्थ हाइएस्ट सेलेवरी ट्यूमर वी थिंक सेलेवरी ट्यूमर इज यूजलेस टॉपिक बट हाइएस्ट नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन इफ यू टेक एम्स आर एंड पीजीआई फोर्थ हाइएस्ट नंबर इन सेलेवरी ट्यूमर एग्जाम विल नॉट लिव सो यू हाउ ट्रीड सो डॉक्टर दिस क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ अमेरिकन जर्नल ऑफ कैंसर सोसाइटी देर बी फीलिंग बैड इफ यू डोंट आंसर दिस मेनी टाइम्स इन अवर मार्क टेस्ट Every mock test may be definitely give one breast cancer staging, one endometrial cancer staging, one cervical cancer staging. Our job is to remind you to read. So, doctor, more than 10 to 20 mm, you call it as T1C. 10 mm, बोले तो one centimeter, one to two centimeters से ज़्यादा है तो you call T1C. How much is the size given here? One point two. so it is t1c the only option available for t1c is option c right so that becomes the answer now doctor febrile seizures pediatrics may hot topic what is except about it recurrence is decided by if there are complex seizures where patient lost consciousness or if there is a positive family histories in a febrile seizure Or if the initial seizure is less than 12 months of aged baby, recurrence chances will be. How high was the temperature is not a deciding factor for the recurrence. Is what you need to be very sure about, doctor. Now comes the case study based questions. Every comment came, a doctor. New England Journal of Medicine is there, no? that england is different from new england england is in london new england is in uh, uh, somewhere uh, not in uh, uk huh? new england journal of medicine ka picture of the week case of the week kaisa rehta difficult you can't read all the nejm uh, for the purpose of one covid ke exam but generally these are straight pics of the case study from that okay doc so pill rolling tumor means what do you call parkinsonism parkinsonism bole to kaha rahega problem substantia nigra mein khatam if you answer that then 33 year old diffuse erythroderma worsened on the next day with respiratory distress with the discomation of the hand is a classical example is a case study called staphylococcal toxic shock syndrome case report same story given verbatim With this picture, this is the missing picture in the question. Eh? That uh, there is a, a discomation of her hand like this. So it is an example of toxic shock syndrome. Any JM image. So what is it because of Staphylococcus aureus? How do you treat fluoxetine? Uh, then. Uh, uh, Ah, from where will you take the culture? Basically, from the vaginal swab. That is the point of the beginning. Workup will show elevated creatinine, liver enzymes due to Staphylococcus aureus, etc., etc. Then, 85 year old cigar smoker shows his tongue. What is that tongue? Is once more this is a question of. Uh, I leave to you in the literature the internet link of that page. 
black hairy tongue reported by andreas corber a case uh, image in the nejm so the condition is basically called lingua villosa nigra otherwise called black hairy tongue so how do you want to treat ask him to stop smoking application of 40% urea applying topical retinoids no role for topical antibiotics then 55 year old with two days history of headache with multiple enhancing lesion in the cerebral hemispheres this is a straight pick from nejm disseminated cns nocardiosis reported by magdart et al with this original picture being given so all the story says it is nocardia astroides now how do you treat is the question uh, but anyway if you know it is nocardia you know it is weakly positive acid phosphobacilli if you know that how do you treat once more a talent based question number 18 first if you can make it out that it is nocardia there is no guarantee that you will answer it as trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole because you also need to know how do you treat nocardia cotrimoxazole is used for the treatment of nocardia maybe in the next state entrance straight away they will ask you a question any other alternative answer you thought huh so trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole is what need to be remembered i am very happy to see 34 plus viewers online now doctor 47 year old referred with bone pain shows intra osseous membrane calcification rugger jersey spine rugger jersey means we remember renal osseo dystrophy but why kidney is involved is the question here so basically this was a case study once more in uh, nejm uh, it is a nejm based case study i'll come back yeah it once more uh, talks about drinking excessive tea leading to worsening of the fluorosis in a person living in a endemic area of fluorosis was a nejm case study based on this question was given so what is the diagnosis of this situation fluorosis and uh, this was the original photograph given in the nejm rubber jersey spine in the patient classically now uh, how do you treat it basically fluorosis may change the source of water is the treatment and uh, what complication can have fluorosis can involve bones fluorosis can involve kidneys so renal damage is a complication of it ah uh, this is the disgusting question इंडिया में इंडिया वाला क्वेश्चन दिए तो आंसर करना ही मुश्किल हो रहे ऊपर से अमेजॉन फॉरेस्ट में एक इंसेक्ट बाइट के ऊपर क्वेश्चन दिए तो विल रिमेंबर बट स्टिल 65 फाइव इयर वर्ल्ड विथ स्किन लिशन ऑन द चेस्ट प्योरली लक बेस्ड क्वेश्चन इट इज कॉज बाय दिस ऑर्गेनिजम कॉल्ड एज डर्मेटोबिया होमिनिस लार्वे दे आर द वर्चुअल फोटोग्राफ ऑफ द एनिजेम so the larvae comes out of the pores are what denatobia hominis chhod do wo dono purely luck based hai now 40 year old has got multiple cysts in the kidney fundamentally it is an example of a autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease examiner want to ask what is the associated lesion in adpkd there can be berry aneurysms in the brain which can undergo rupture leading to subarachnoid hemorrhage that's the reason you need to basically look for intracranial aneurysms in adpkd then what is the renal pathology due to what is the pathophysiology why kidney is involved why kidney get uh, if cyst is there why should kidney should suffer and uh, patient should go into chronic kidney disease basically those cysts will lead to renal ischemia it is the ischemia induced injury which ultimately lead to development of a chronic kidney disease in the case of the polycystic kidney disease is what you have to basically appreciate doctor then 30 year old homosexual presents with painful bicycular lesions in perianal area 
Internuclear inclusion bodies and perinuclear ratio striptease. You can easily answer. The only answer is herpes simplex virus. 45 year old is being brought in unconscious state. If you give dextrose solution, he wakes up. So, what is uh, the classical feature of insulinoma? Hypoglycemic episodes which are treated and get corrected if you give glucose. He is an important indicator of insulinoma. So, the problem lies with his pancreas. Enlarged prostate is there in a 75 year old man who is having the signs of bladder outlet obstruction. What is the therapy ultimately? 5 alpha reductase inhibitors. BPH is a very, very common question in the exam. This is an interesting question. Is Kelly to the talent? Hona. No, not talent, luck. Talent bulletin, you try, you get it. Luck means pray God and answer. Uterus was normal is the important clue to say it is ovarian choriocarcinoma. But not the regular wala gestational choriocarcinoma. What is your answer, doctor? Ovarian, eh? Because uterus was normal is the clue. Glaring clue which is looking at you. Now, doctor, a 31 year old. At 29 weeks of gestation, complaints of headache and swelling, pitting edema. So, how will you basically evaluate? Uh, 31 year old pregnant woman. Basically, what are you worried about? Preeclampsia. So, that can be defined by urinary protein. Lot of women develop. Uh, Leg edema. Everyone can't be called as uh, preeclampsia. So you need to look for the protein levels in the urine before you come to some conclusion and definition. Now, doctor, 35 year old with severe bronchial asthma with purple stretch marks. Laboratory shows reduced serum cortisol. Asthmatics may. What will you do, doctor? You will push lot of steroids. Because of that, what will happen? Iatrogenically, Cushing's will develop. And they will also develop adrenal suppression. Right? And uh, the steroid and bronchodilators, they will push the potassium intracellularly. So, that is the reason potassium levels in the blood will fall down. Hypokalemia is an important problem in the people who are regularly on asthmatic drugs. And also asthma induced uh, uh, Cushing. Steroids, what will they do, doctor? Just like they act like mineralocorticoids. Mineralocorticoids are sodium retaining, potassium losing. Loss of potassium into urine will lead to hypokalemia. So both bronchodilators, which are beta 2 agonists, they will move the potassium intracellularly. Potassium is a when you check in plasma, plasma is extra or intra? Plasma is a part of ECF, not ICF. Potassium is a principal intracellular ion. Beta 2 agonists, what will they do? They push the potassium intracellularly. So, when you check in plasma, levels will come down. One reason. Second reason, asthma may continuous steroids lead to caliuresis, leading to worsening of hypokalemia is what you need to basically remember doctor. Now, what is his condition most likely due to? Atrogenic cause of your giving the steroids. Then a 30 year old underwent surgery for follicular carcinoma of the thyroid now has muscle twitching and uh, there is a tapping of the facial nerve produces puzzle, you know chopstick sign etc etc. That is, they are all the indicators of hypocalcemic state. Hypocalcemia developing after doing thyroid surgery is due to parathyroid loss. That's the reason, absence of parathyroids. Very simple doctors, simple basic questions. These questions you should not do wrong, no big deal. 32 year old, 
typically has neurofibromatosis now having palpitation and excessive sweating that means pheochromocytoma is also there neurofibromatosis pheochromocytoma medullary carcinoma of thyroid all this combination comes under men too so what is the important rule in general medicine top 100 topics may men syndrome polyglandular autoimmune disorder ke bina paper hona asambhav hai so you must be looking forward where is the red proto oncogene to answer this question okay now 32 year old periorbital swelling hiv elisa is positive and protein urea is 3.9 grams do you think significant nephrotic range protein urea retroviral mein nephrotic range protein urea ho gaye to what is the diagnosis that is there in your mind retroviral patients iv drug abusers they are all at risk of focal segmental glomerulosclerosis so you expect a segmental sclerosis of some of the glomerulus one more question on topic of glomerular nephritis okay doc now 63 year old cystoscopy shows irregular growth of mucosa in the bladder and found to be squamous cell carcinoma seedha put sakte na squamous cell carcinoma bladder is due to which organism so which organism comes to your mind cystosoma hematobium good 60 year old complains with abdominal pain constipation and loin pain radiating to the groin and uh, serum calcium is found to be elevated there is a hilar mass on the chest radiograph paraneoplastic syndromes are the favorite question of the examiner so squamous cell carcinoma is known to produce parathyroid related peptide as a paraneoplastic syndrome which lead to development of hypercalcemic state remember doctor all lung cancers paraneoplastic endocrine manifestations are due to small cell carcinoma only squamous cell carcinoma may you have hypercalcemia simple rule if you remember you will answer it correctly 45 year old female has proximal weakness and uh, bp 145 by 90 and uh, pulse rate 90 high levels of cortisol are found and uh, dexamethasone suppression test was done high dose and uh, the plasma cortisol levels were suppressed a question definitely they will ask on how do you diagnose which level which level may adrenal problem pituitary problem lung cancer ectopic production how do you differentiate so this is the golden table that appear acdh is undetectable cortisol is not suppressed either you use high or low dose then what is your interpretation primary hypercortisolism is possibility acdh is normal or elevated and uh, hypercortisolism is there but it is not suppressed by the high or low dose think of ectopic acdh if it is suppressed by high dose but not by low dose then that acdh is coming from pituitary adenoma no you didn't understand no i know i know no problem dekho doctor acdh high hone ke wajah se adrenal is stimulated to produce high cortisol levels avdh kahan se aa sakte pituitary se if there is a pituitary adenoma causing cushings or it can come from ectopic acdh if you give external dexamethasone if the acdh is coming from pituitary you can suppress it but if you are if it is coming from ectopic source it can't be suppressed samajh gaya na ha but isme do tarah ki dexamethasone ka istemal karte ek low dose wala ek high dose wala if you take pituitary adenoma causing hypercortisolism and producing excess acdh लो डोस वाला डेक्समेटोसोन का ना बात नहीं सुनेगा हाई डोस वाला दिए तो सप्रेस हो जाता एक्टोबिक एसिडीएच होता ना अगर लो डोस दो या हाई डोस दो बात नहीं सुनेगा सो दैट इज द 
dexamethasone suppression test which you need to be very sure about. Now, how do you want to evaluate if you are suspecting pituitary adenoma, MRI of the brain is the way. Ah, iske liye to badia talent rena doctor. T24, talent question number 24. 87 year old, retrosternal burn, crampy pain, everything is fine. Challenge is, is it nutcracker esophagus or is it achalasia cardia? You have to differentiate. What is an important clue to say it is nutcracker esophagus here? He said, esophagogastric junction is showing normal relaxation. Whereas achalasia cardia ka fundamental problem kya hota hai? Lack of normal expected relaxation is the underlying problem. In case of achalasia cardia. So that is the differentiator between the two. Everything else is story. Once more, this is a straight pick from the NEJM. And uh, I leave to you the link where you have the entire study available. And uh, there are some criteria given by Castell to say how to say it is nutcracker esophagus. So nutcracker esophagus case reported by Luke and Oliver in NEJM was picked up. So, this is the typical barium picture and endoscopic appearance. So, what will barium examination is supposed to show, doctor? A corkscrew appearance is there, no? That is supposed to be shown in nutcracker esophagus. Then, uh, uh, how do you treat this patient? Immediately, though, you will give proton pump inhibitor. But long run may you need to relieve that uh, nutcracker uh, high amplitude contractions of the body of esophagus. For that you will give a calcium channel blocker. Dility acid is considered to be the treatment of choice. Now uh, a 6 hour old term baby yellow is discoloration. Beautiful question. She has uneven full pregnancy but she uh, he was born to 30 year old women who had abortion 2 years ago. So, the high likelihood is RH cumulative disease. Earlier abortion sensitized the antibody system. If you have alloys discoloration up to knee joint, kitta hai? Jaundice. Very standard question. So, once more, talent based question 29. So, zone 1, head to clavicle is 5. Clavicle to umbilicus is 6 to 8. Umbilicus to knee means 9 to 12. Knee to ankle tuck jaundice height to up to 15. And uh, palms and soles, if they are involved, it is 15. So, that is how, based on till where is the jaundice extended, you will get an idea as to how much is the bilirubin level. 6 hours old. Param baby was observed. Ha, same question. How do you want to treat that uh, situation? Fundamentally, phototherapy is the main treatment. Start phototherapy. He has sufficient uh, evidence to indicate the phototherapy. Three year old female child sleeping in a thatched hut woke up in the middle of the night screaming. And uh, she was sweating profusely and the hands were becoming cold. Think of scorpion bite. Another very common question asked in the MD entrance exam is, somebody was sleeping in a hut on the floor. Next day found dead. No screaming, no crying. Crate bite. Crate. Crate. Poisonous snake. Painless death. Painless death. Classical question asked in the exam. When this case study is given to you, you should answer crate bite. Scorpion envenomation, doctor. So, how do you treat scorpion envenomation? Is the next important question. Prajosin has brought down the mortality rate of the scorpion bite to less than 1% after the discovery of Prajosin. 
or rather Patterson's role in scorpion bite case. So, Prajacin is a physiological and pharmacological antidote. It is competitive postsynaptic alpha 1 adrenoceptor antagonist. I leave to you the literature for you to review what are all the ways by which Prajacin helps in scorpion bite. 8 year old girl with puffiness of eyes and swelling of the leg. Mother said she has passing only small quantities of urine which is high colored showing RBC granular cause. One more question on favorite topic of the examiner is glomerulonephritis. Acute glomerulonephritis. If this child developed a headache and generalized convulsions, which complication of glomerulonephritis you think of? Classically due to hypertension. Hypertension that lead to development of hypertensive encephalopathy leading to headache and generalized convulsions. What is not a feature of PSGN? Bahut din se mein wait kar raho yeh question ke liye. Lot of times in our mock tests I keep on telling every time PSGN comes. What is the special thing about PSGN doctor? PSGN mein hyper complementing emia hota ya nahi hota? Hota. Magar, छे हफ्ते के बाद, after six weeks, that is supposed to normalize. If it did not normalize, it is against the diagnosis of PSGN. Classical question you need to remember, doctor. So I am waiting since long time for this question to come. Normal C3. Normal C3 is not at acute stage. After six weeks, it is expected to normalize, but at the time of diagnosis, it is supposed to be hypercomplementing. Now, three year old brought for diarrhea of two weeks duration and her weight is 8 kg. Her nutritional status, how will you basically call it as? Purely talent based question. Kyo? Pella, you must know what is the expected weight in a three year old girl. Then you must know what percentage decrease happened. Then you should know what percentage ko kitta level ka malnutrition bolega. Three things anywhere in this chain, food chain, if you missed, you can't answer. So, doctor, three year old child weight is expected to be between 12 to 19 kgs. On average, about 15 to 16 kgs. 15 to 16 may 50 percent hai abhi. Unka weight 8 kgs bole to. So, normal is 90 to 100. Mild means 75 to 89, moderate is 60 to 74 and severe is less than 60 percent. So that is the reason you like to call it as severe malnutrition. Talent based question. Check whether what you answered severe? No? Oh, okay. No problem. Now, once more, I like to tell you, these things can once more come in the next entrance. We can't afford to do mistake. Three-year-old girl brought with diarrhea and she weighs 8 kgs but she is able to avoid urine normally. That means she is not dehydrated. So more likely possibility of all her symptoms is hypoglycemic episode. So how do you treat that? Basically by giving 10% dextrose. Five-year-old boy eco shows small muscular VSD. Small muscular VSD is ko kya karega aap? VSD, ASD, PDA. Tough. Pediatrics mein iske bina kya hai cardiology mein? Definitely you should read everything. So doctor, there is no intervention required for that small size. Especially muscular defects are the ones which are known to undergo spontaneous closure. Now, if VSD is high, which chamber enlarges first was the question of the examiner. VSD is what is happening? Left to right shunt is happening. Who is going to fall on the whole body? Who is going to fall on the right ventricle? Regular venous return is coming to right ventricle. The blood is coming from the shunt and falling on the right ventricle. Right ventricle will be thick. So, the first to enlarge will be the right ventricle. When the right ventricle enlarges, what is the next important thing that it is going to lead to due to increased blood flow into pulmonary circulation, pulmonary hypertension. And at that point of time, what will happen? 
reversal of shunt will occur, which is then called Asian Minga. Three day old female baby was brought. Excellent question, doctor. Oozing of the blood from the umbilical stump. I will say this is a remarkable question. Whoever answered this, solid preparation for entrance, I can say correctly. Of course, those who didn't answer need not worry. Maybe you worked out very well on the general medicine and other subjects and pediatrics little less. Mother said, there is a blood stain discharge from the nose. She was feeding and passing urine and stools normally. Her sleep is uh, adequate. But what she is having is oozing of the umbilical stump. What was your answer, uh, Chakradhar? Classical? You didn't answer early. Okay. Good. I am very happy to know. Chakradhar answered it correctly. Anil also answered it correctly. Great. Asha also answered. Classical. You are all making me feel proud. Please give one big clap, doctor, big clap for all those who said classical. But you must know three types of hemorrhagic disease of newborn. Two, three comments I will give to that so that we will conclude the today's session. Early onset vitamin K deficiency, bleeding in newborn. Why it is called early? One is called early, other is called classic. Third is called late onset. My teenon ke bare mein three three points I'll tell you. Huh? For you to remember forever. So, what is the story of early? Early ka matlab hota hai first 24 hours mein there is uh, bleeding after birth. Generally, early vitamin K deficiency occur in the mothers who are receiving anti convulsant therapy or anti tv therapy agar wo history mein hai kya zara dekho nahi hai is case mein nahi hai then in this serious hemorrhage will occur intracranial bleeding etc then uh, uh, classical vitamin k deficiency it occurs after 24 hours but as long as up to First week, up to first week. Most of the times, based on the time of onset of bleeding episode, you can clinch the diagnosis. If the infant didn't receive the prophylactic dose of vitamin K, which you generally give the moment baby is born, they suffer classic vitamin K deficiency. And uh, uh, if you look at these babies, they are often ill, they have delayed feeding and uh, umbilical bleeding is the classical part of the story in classical vitamin K deficiency. Then comes a late onset, between 2nd to 12th week is the time at which late onset will come. It can come even as long as 6 months after the birth. And it is most common in the best fed infants who did not receive the vitamin K prophylaxis and birth. So, that is all the story. So, how do you want to treat this doctor? Obviously, give vitamin K. And what are vitamin K dependent factors? 2, 7, 9 and 10. So, that brings us to the end of this uh, journey called Comed K2014. So, next Olympics are 2015, let us see. I hope a lot of you will settle by the time in some good PG seat. But what is the rule? 120 achievable. 35 luck based, sorry, 35 talent based, 25 luck based. Tomorrow's AP entrance or any entrance also, same, more or less similar proposition. Two thirds of 200 means how many marks, doctor? 135 to 140. Aam Admi should answer without shaking here and there. Remaining 60 become distributed between luck and 
talent right doctor so thanks for the patient attending and uh, day after tomorrow we have the mock test tomorrow we are supposed to have day after tomorrow we'll have it and uh, from this monday onwards our next batch of uh, online classes begin for the students aspiring in the month of november all india and 2015 uh, with anatomy we have a legendary teacher, uh, Dr. Uh, Murlida Reddy, sir, from Guntur Medical College will be teaching. Two weeks, first two weeks will be anatomy and every week, Monday to Friday and on Saturday, we will have a subject test on the same subject with a discussion. Eh? So, thanks for your patient listening. And tell your friends who missed the today's class, it will be available on the YouTube. We will try to post it. Eh?